So I'm going to show one of the most powerful mechanics I've discovered in the last few years. First, I'm going to go through the principles of how it works, and then I'm going to show multiple ways you can apply it. And as always, if you guys like the content, be sure to like, share, subscribe to help support the channel. Okay, so the first thing to understand is that often when you're passing, your opponent needs to face the way you're going. So if I start passing to my left, my opponent's going to turn towards me and put a lot of defense in the way. So what we want to do is find a way to lock our opponent's hip to the floor to face the opposite direction, and he can't turn back. Uh, two of the main ways people will turn back is they'll put this foot on the floor and they'll uh, forward trip and turn back towards you like this, or they might even lasso this leg over top to try to come back at you, right? So what we wanna do is we're gonna distribute our body weight and we're gonna do this in a lot of different ways as the video goes on, on this thigh right here above their knee. If I push up higher here, he can actually still forward trip off the floor or even lasso and turn back this way, right? But whenever I distribute my weight right here like this, now try to forward trip, he cannot turn, he gets stuck on this side. And there's many different ways we can do this. We can do it from here with a leg trapped, he can't turn back. We can do it from a leg drag, and I'm gonna go through all these series in a minute, but understanding this core idea of how to pin this is gonna completely change the way you approach passing. So the first situation we're gonna look at is a really simple one, it's just from a leg drag pass. So I'm gonna approach my opponent's guard, he's gonna have his legs kind of up, and I'm gonna drag one arm across. You can do your uh, preferred method. Some people use a cross grip, some people use the same side hand. I'm gonna push this across, and once I clear here, I wanna angle to shoot my shin right to that spot, right above the knee, and land here. Now where a lot of people will make mistakes is they'll be here like this, and they get so focused on the pass first that they lighten this as they try to finish, now turn back in, and he starts turning back in and you lose the position. What I wanna do is as I land on this here, as he tries to start forward trimming out, I follow with this knee and he can never fully turn back in. Now if you come up here towards the chest is once I get above here and I get my chest over chest position, now I'm gonna start switching my weight to dropping down on the chest. So now if he starts pushing on my chest here, it doesn't really matter because as I come around, he's stuck and his shoulder blades are pinned and I can come into the pass. So another great way to set this position up is from an HQ or leg trap position. So now the guy's legs are a little bit lower. I approach the guard, I'm gonna trap one leg in between mine. And once I get here, I'm gonna drop my shin again on that thigh position here, and this pins his leg to the floor. It's very difficult to get it back up. Now there's different responses he can have. The first one I'm gonna look at is pushing towards a folding pass. So if I feel this leg is a little bit past uh, vertical, I can push it to the side with my knee, and I start dropping my chest towards his chest, again, maintaining the shin pressure on the thigh over here. As I start to get close here, I can start to switch up towards the neck. Now I'm gonna start looking to take my top leg, hook over his shin, and I start coming around this way to pass. Depending on his uh, defense as well, sometimes guys will let you get a good club on the face here, and now I switch around to try to consolidate and come up towards the chest. Another good combination from the same position is once I trap and I get this knee down, I can take my left hand, I control high on the lapel for balance, and now I switch my left knee to replace where my right knee is. From here, I can go into the folder. Often your opponent will open his knee here, and what I do is I step this leg back around from being over to back around, and now I switch position, and now I'm back in the leg drag position again. Now I can start pulling the knee through, dropping down chest to chest, and finishing the pass. So another one of my favorite ways to use this tool is in a knee cut pass. So in this case, I'm approaching the guard, my opponent might slightly be shielded. Sometimes I grab this bottom leg and he grabs my sleeve to break the grip. When he breaks that grip, I'm gonna grab his sleeve, I'm gonna shoot my right hand up to catch the lapel, and as he shields, I drop my shin right on the thigh there. If I'm low enough, he can't get the reverse de la Hiva hook. He has kind of a knee shield here, like turn into me a bit, right? But this sleeve poke in this arm stiff arming his shoulder keeps him flat. So now as he tries to push with that shield to slide me off, it stays very heavy and I can slowly clear the knee, come up through and finish a pass. So another time this can be really useful is in the crab ride. So often when I'm in a crab ride, I'm trying to attack the back, your opponent will take this outside leg and he'll forward jump off the floor and turn back into you. And it makes it very difficult to continue the attack. So this bottom leg I used to pin right above his knee really heavy here, and now he can't turn out of the position. I'm pulling on his hips really hard on this side. And then now what happens is once he's stuck here, I reach up, grab the lapel, I can extend my leg and come up to pass the guard here. And often what they'll do is they can't uh, turn back into you, so they pull their knees to their chest. And this makes it easy to roll through and come up and take the back. Uh, another cool way you can take the back using this is if I come up into a leg drag from the bottom position here, I start dropping the shin first, and if he tries to forward shrimp into me, here he just exposes the pass, right? So often from here, they'll pull their knees to their chest, and I can slide my bottom hook in, 
feed a twister hook, set them up, and take the back. All right, so now I'm gonna be explaining these techniques being used in actual sparring. So I start off in the collar sleeve, I'm on top, and uh, my opponent has his left foot on my hip and I'm killing his right leg with my left hand. Uh, I'm denying him from getting that foot in my bicep because it makes chasing the omoplata or triangle a lot harder. Often when you kill that leg, they'll lasso with their left foot like he did here. That's a good time for me to loop out of the lasso with my right hand. Uh, now he puts a lasso on the other side. I'm gonna loop out of that one too. Once I break out, I use my right forearm here, kind of framed against his like thigh hip area and that blocks him from turning in so I can try to keep him more flat. It's a lot easier to pass your opponent when you have him flat. I start to go for like kind of a Toriando pass and I step back in and I drop my shin to pin his thigh here. And now as I drive in, I'm gonna work to get his arm or his sleeve to stop him from coming up. I get my chest over chest position and try to consolidate there. Um, I just did a video on side control escape if you didn't see it and I talk a lot about using your chest to pin your opponent. Next clip, I started in a knee cut here and he knee shielded really hard early. So now I come back to the center, I'm kind of deciding where to go and I end up pushing the leg across and dropping him for a leg drag. Immediately I drop that right shin on his thigh here and get in tight. And now that thigh is pinned so he can't turn back in. I work to get my chest really tight. And once I get high enough and the chest and shoulders are pinned, now I can take the leg off and switch to consolidate the full side finish. Here we're in collar sleeve again. I kill the leg again. He's probably gonna lasso. I start to loop out of the lasso and now uh, yeah, what he does is he tries to push me away with his foot and I flare my elbow to pop the foot off the shoulder. And now he lets go and switches back to the collar. I trap the leg looking for a knee cut. I think he comes up on his elbow, scoots back. Gonna end up in the same position again. Again, I'm about to set up a knee cut. He turns to the other side to defend. And I use this moment to get my form again inside on that thigh rib area to block the knee shield. And I get my right shin down hard on his thigh. You can see there he's trying to get it out and it's stuck. I grab Grab the elbow to center him up. I stay chest over chest, consolidate the finish and lock him flat. He turns into me hard here and I switch over to mount because I want to maintain the uh, shoulder blades flat. I covered that again in the last side control uh, video. Um, so now again, I'm killing the leg. This time we're in collar ankle de la Hiva. I kill the leg, I'm gonna go trap here. Once I trap, now I start using my right shin to smash on that thigh on the other side. This kind of makes him stuck here, right? So often when you're here, people will try to bump you overhead to get uh, get you off of them, and that gives me the time to shoot the underhook and drop into a tight knee cut. I finish with a cross face and strong chest to chest connection. Next one here, I'm actually going for a bolo, so I knock him backwards, and I first go for the hip, but I can tell his pants are like too tight and I can't get the grip, so I switch back to the lapel. I invert all the way through. I use my shin under his thigh here, uh, and then I grab his far pant leg, and that allows me to pull him in really close. I wanna make sure to get my chest and my head really close to their low back and hips when you try to finish any of these. So I put that bottom crab hook threat in, and then what happens is he pulls his knees to his chest like I talked about in the video, and then now I switch up to like a classic back take, throwing the leg over top. In this last sequence, um, I'm gonna be going in, uh, well, we start from the grip fight here, I back up, always setting space. Uh, so he wouldn't give me the sleeve or the lapel, so often I initiate with that knee grip. So I go straight to a deep lace De La Hiva. I go to De La Hiva X, I bump him forward uh, with the collar grip, and now I switch my left hand to the hip. I spin backwards behind. I start to go into a crab ride situation and then he pushes my leg off so I switch into a leg drag. Now you can see I start smashing down but just like I talked about, he immediately pulls his knees to his chest so I start threading, threading that bottom hook in and progressing towards a twister hook here. As I get the twister hook in, I throw my top leg over and I get the finish. All right guys, hope you liked the video. I'm gonna be dropping a new instructional on my website too, both a double sleeve course and a guard retention course, as well as I have free content on there as well. So if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check it out, www.johnthomasbjj.com. I'll put the link in the description as well. Thanks a lot.